So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about this man, Leroy Sane, a player who is constantly a problem for me when I come up against him in foot champs. He's also a favoured winger of many pro players. I've used him a lot throughout this FIFA already and I do find myself regularly rebuying him for weekend league as he is incredibly effective on that left edge. Anyway guys, before we continue, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. Comment below if you've used Sane and how he was for you. And also, if you have subscribed, remember to hit that notification bell so you are alerted to when I upload. So, as you saw a few moments ago, Sane has a pretty good record for me. In 26 games, he scored 22 times and got 11 assists. And all those games are in weekend league as well. Now in Weekend League, I'm pretty much a Gold 1, Gold 2 player at the moment. I won't lie, this year in Foot Champs, I am struggling a little bit. I'm not using amazing teams, but I still think I should be doing a bit better than what I am. But the reason I mention this is, even with all that in mind, Sane's numbers are great. Now he's not a flair player, he's not a showboater, and he's not overly expensive, but he does one hell of a job on that left edge and he will 100% score you goals. That's guaranteed. He's left footed on the left side, which some people might not actually like. However, people like myself will love it. The crossbody shot is OP this year and Sane is great at that and it's also easy to cross the ball into the box due to this because, you know, he's got the freestyle weak foot. So you don't want to be crossing in with that right foot anyway. So, you know, I'd rather him be left footed on the left side because... You know, if he was right footed with that freestyle weak foot, crossing wouldn't be ideal and you would have to cut inside a lot more. Unfortunately, Sane only has three star skills this year. I do normally like my attackers to have at least four, but luckily, Sane does excel in other areas to make up for that. One thing you're going to see a lot of, and I mean a lot of, in the clips is headers. This guy is perfect for back post headers, which, fair enough, is a bit sweaty, but it's a goal and you take any goal you can in weekend league. 72 heading accuracy for a winger is decent and with Sane standing at 6 foot he is going to win a decent amount of aerial battles especially at the back post where a lot of the time he's going to be matched up against a fullback who you know is more than likely going to be shorter than him. I've pretty much skipped over the pace because you know you can see on his card he has 94 pace he's rapid cool awesome let's move on his dribbling's good very good he's very agile he's got good balance and also he controls the ball very well and on top of that he's got 70 strength which is very good for a pacey winger so do that bear that in mind because you know he can be useful for not just running at defenses but also slowing things down and holding up play if needed so now let's discuss his shooting because we've already seen he's a goal scorer and yes a lot of his goals did come from headers however that does not mean he can't finish. No, no, no. He's great in front of goal. Decent long shot on him as well. His power shot is um, pretty good too when he executes it well. And like I mentioned earlier, that crossbody power shot is incredibly effective on this year's ultimate team. And his general finishing on that left foot is awesome. You just got to be sure to shoot off his left and keep it off his right because his right foot, three stars, as you can imagine, not too great. I will mention though, sometimes the power shot is, you know, a bit inconsistent. But other than that, I actually was really proud well, not proud. I was really happy with his shooting. I don't know why I said proud. That's made it sound a bit weird. Anyway, positionally, I thought he was absolutely outstanding. Always making good runs and mainly making some great runs to that back post where, you know, you've seen what happened. Back post headers OP. Passing wise, good. That's pretty much it. Good but not great is probably the best way to put it. His crossing was alright, but in all honesty, there's not too much to say regarding to his passing other than... Just keep it on his left foot, try and stay away from his right to the best of your ability. So in summary, what a card. Honestly, I love this guy in game and I highly recommend trying him out if you haven't done so already. Now I do understand that some people won't like the freestyle weak foot or the freestyle skills, but Sane for a non-inform is incredible and I know for a fact I'll be using him a lot this year. In comparison to players like Son and Martial, as much as I like those cards, I actually prefer Sane as my left wing option as I just feel he adds more to my attack being there. I also feel he scores more vital goals for me, but all three are absolutely amazing and that's why that I normally use one of them as a right wing instead of putting an actual right edge player there. And I will add, I do think Martial as a whole is a better goal scorer, however, that left foot on the left side of Sane is incredibly useful, but um, I will add, I would absolutely love Martial to get a right-sided card because Sane at left wing and Martial at right wing, both on full chem, would be awesome. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on this FIFA 18 non-informed Leroy Sane. Hope you've enjoyed this player review. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it. Comment below if you tried this guy and how he was for you. But apart from that, thanks for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in 
the next one.